Hey wall. I know it's been a minute since I've really been speaking in my videos and I wanted to come back with this soft spoken walkthrough of my plants inspired by Ray Moon ASMR and Peace and Sobriety ASMR. So I'm gonna go individually starting with these two big plants. These are my mom's. These are the ones that were the only two in our house for many, many years. This Diefenbachia had gotten so tall that it fell one day. So we repotted it into the plant. And we have all this new growth at the bottom. Like this sprout that's coming out. And my mom has had these pretty much as long as I've been alive. And this dumb cane survived the ice storm, as she always likes to say. I think there was two others and this was the only one that survived and the ice storm happened in 98 I believe before I was born however in like the last year we've gotten this new addition and it's gotten so tall it's the branches stems. Diefenbachia leaves are poisonous, so I won't be touching these. Now I'll get a little bit into our room plants. This is on the office desk. It's a Zanzibar gem. A ZZ plant, money plant, we just call it money plant, how original. But um, this will kind of grow and die and grow and die. We've had different iterations of it over time. These are the new war sprouts. That's, I love leaves just look at these we'll get to those soon this is a like the Christmas cactus there it'll have pink flowers we've had a few over time this one we thought was gonna be no more but it's holding on the spikes, spikes, spikes. Then we both have our own aloe vera. This one is my mom. Her green pots. Curvy girly. And this one is mine. Miss Aloisha Keys. And I've definitely used the leaves that die or that like come off for my face, for my hair things. Got a baby branch. One of my newest additions from the beginning of the summer is my Pilea. Pilea. 
This only had about six leaves when it started. I love how it grows from the middle. Seems like there's a new leaf starting there. And these leaves were so small. And now they're like half of my hand. I also have big hands. Stunning. I seen one that had a probably about like 50 sprouts. And I can't wait for it to get like that. A few of them have fallen off. That's part of the process. Now these spiders are really what got us into the frenzy. This is where the spider addiction came from. Because if you know or you don't, they shoot off offsprings. These are the babies. There'll be some here, 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 etc. Um, when we first got them, they had their strands. Their strands kind of broke off in the, the climatization of it all between the store and the house. This one had many baby strings and it's actually where I have most of my baby propagations from but we have a lot of hope in them some days they just look stunning they have this green foliage with white on the trim And this one you really want to just give it space to just be. This one always reminds me of an afro. Curly headed girl. And this one's my mom's. Big Bertha. But she's gonna come back stronger than ever. I feel it. Now that we got those you can see like this was a baby from there and now look it has its own string of babies these big ones on the ends you can cut it off and replant it into a small container they like tight bound roots to be able to produce this string so having like a container like this is like the perfect grounds for it on the opposite side of the display we also have another one i was super shocked when this happened so quickly they were probably in there for like a year but then it just happened they got so long speaking of and whatnot we have one two three high over there these versions with the all green leaves actually came from my aunt they too had their stems that broke off the runners but we planted it and these have just recently grown like crazy within the tail end of the summer the beginning of fall they're flowering so pretty these little flowers make those little make the leaves basically those little dots will flower and then all of a sudden the leaves come out it's like a process of patience but this is clearly like a different species of the plant so stunning nonetheless so we have the two with their babies these are like grandbabies now and the two from my aunt some up here let's 
go to Zola and Zulu. These are twins. My brother had one of these. And then we got twins for, for him. But I love this foliage. If you could see in the light, it has that red, almost purple in some lights, trim. These girls, actually, girl and boy, excuse me, are just thriving. I like to cut their tips every so often, but I haven't done it in a while. So it goes from the top, and then it intermingles with our purple heart, our purple queen. Oh, look at the inches. Try not to destroy it. This one is cool, like if one of these fall out, you just have to put it right back in the soil without putting it in water first. This is our only hanging plant. This whole setup at Golden Hour just shines the purple the red, and I'll show you a bit more purple as well, just stunning, I think this is the longest one, and it's so strong, when we put down the curtains, it'll literally hold the curtain up, and that's why it's hook shaped like that, so phenomenal, welcome to the jungle, Carmen J. Junko. Now in the midst of Zulu and Zola and our spider plants, we also have our tomato plant, which is now taller than me. And we got this $2 rescue. It was only here. That's how that goes together. This part is kind of dying and normally I just like to shake off or take off the fallen branch piece, not do too much. Cause I don't wanna hurt it. I think of plants definitely like humans. I got probably about like 30 or 40 small cherry tomatoes. This was the last cute little one that one's gonna stay there got other tomatoes from our outdoor garden make sure you check out the last video for the fall harvest of 2022 happy belated thanksgiving in canada if you guys celebrate i know not everyone does Tomatoes were so juicy and yummy and firm. I ate them at the yellow stage, the orange stage, the red stage, the bonbon cherry tomatoes. So I just keep watering it, hoping to keep the stalks and everything healthy and hopefully next spring, summer, it will come back. I have a bunch of different pots and plates and bowls. Use this to separate puzzle pieces in my puzzle videos. Okay, I need to keep moving. So there's a thyme plant, broadleaf thyme or Jamaican Time. This is the mother plant. This used to be so small and thankfully to my mother's green thumb we actually got it to expand this summer. And when I say expand, I mean we have 
the whole windowsill full of propagations. Look at the leaves, look at how big, bold, and beautiful. This one in the red container I just planted like yesterday. This is how we propagate them. Just in water. And sunlight. These are rosemary. And this is actually pretty tall. we propagated some into there. Now, middle rack status is just more spider plants. Some from ours, some from my aunt's. This one is from my aunt and it actually just got a new sprout as well. It's super thick and this was one that we had put in the bathroom at first which is like there's no light in there no windows so I tried to rescue it and we put it back over here these are the initial singular potted babies they were super tiny when they were in there and now put together they just make like a whole plant i have ivies a newer addition because we had two big ivies when we got these and they're very hard to maintain as you can see, it's kind of, it's going through the fall season, I guess. But they are so beautiful nonetheless. And this is my girl, Jasenia. She's seen better days, but she's also doing better than the day that I got her. I got her for free. And she's just sprouting more. In the beginning super tall before she was on the first shelf which is for small plants and now she's she's about to be like on the top shelf to be honest but i love the addition of the purple to the garden i love purple and lastly tucked behind here is our singular strand of our two ivies that survived it, it goes strong it's growing we put a lot of love and light and hope into it sometimes we leave it we don't know if we're over watering under watering but she's going and we just like the little details of things hanging down the front and on the sides like on this spider from my aunt we also have a stem this needs to be potted soon into a container like this because they grow so beautifully and down here it's a little bit special because i have things that i just planted i have some beans and bean seeds and onion seeds from the garden video that I harvested back here we have this stem that I'm not quite sure what it is my grandmother gave it to my mother we are trying to get some roots on it to plant that should be able to go soon these are a mixture of babies from my grandmother and my initial aunt that I talked about spider plants. We can see there's a little stem here. And my cactus from my birthday in the pandemic two years ago started off pretty much with no knobs. 
it's like three main knobs but nothing on the center piece and now there's all these little buttons gotta be careful not to get brick when watering and this little bulb on top this is a birdhouse that my mom painted i got for her to paint this is a piece of thief and backyard that was Rerooting, repotting, regrowing, whatever, but now it looks like it's struggling as well as this piece of spider. But we keep pouring love and hoping for the best. Thank you so much for watching this extensive video of Carmen J's Jungle. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like this plant content gardening content let me know what I should name some of these plants because they don't all have names let me know the official name of some of these plants if you are a connoisseur in the comments and down below share this video with your friends subscribe to become a blue jay i am trying to get to a hundred subscribers by the end of 2022 we are almost there thank you to the 79 of y'all who have been rocking with me and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye.